with today's climate, of course, uh, one lawsuit leads to another lawsuit, which leads to another lawsuit. Now, Fox News, we've talked about it. They have a lot of issues going on. And uh, 11 Fox News employees over the week uh, filed lawsuits of racial discrimination. Now, um, an Emmy Award winning anchor, Kelly Wright, led the press conference that announced this class action lawsuit that he is taking part in. And it charges Fox News with racial discrimination. This happened on Wednesday when they made this big announcement. Wright is one of 11 current and past employees of the network who joined together in filing this complaint at Bronx Supreme Court. Um, and so, uh, you know, this definitely have to be a rough time for Fox News as it's allegations mounting from women charging sexual harassment uh, and now they got these black folks saying that they were discriminated against. I, I'm sure that, <laughs> uh, I mean, Fox News is getting what they deserve. They're getting what they put out there in the atmosphere. They've put out a bunch of uh, sexist and racially charged content. And now they're getting getting a lot of that back. Uh, the, um, you know, Somewhere along the line, Fox lost their way and they failed to include equality for all. The network fared, uh, failed excuse me, to be fair and balanced for all employees, regardless of race, gender, faith, creed or color. This is what Wright said uh, while attesting to the suit's claim that Fox uh, exhibited intolerable, unlawful, and hostile racial discrimination. Now, let's keep in mind he worked there for 14 years. 14 years. Uh, and if anybody was able to make that claim, I guess it would be right. He's been he's been there. Um, now he cited the corporation as participating in a culture of systematic and institutional racial bias. I mean, yeah, I'm sure that they did do that. I'm sure they did did do that, and yet he stayed there. And when he could have done other things now, uh, that doesn't mean that these things were right. But I mean, he stayed there for 14 years, and that's what they're going to say, you stayed here for 14 years. Uh, Fox, of course, denying these allegations brought forth. Um, you know, I'm very sympathetic to this, let me say that. But a black person working at Fox News, experiencing some racial discrimination while working at Fox News and being surprised about it is like a stripper in a strip club surprised that somebody smacked her on the ass. I mean, do you watch Fox News? Do you hear the things that they say, the things that they said about President Obama, the things that they say about Maxine Waters, the things that they say I mean, about Michelle Obama, these are the words that come out on the air. So I can imagine that it is definitely some racial shit going on behind the scenes. Uh, some of the people that are uh, on this case, like um, uh, Miss Brown or Miss Wright, two employees from the payroll department, uh, I'm sure that they experienced a whole lot. They were the first to launch their grievances uh, and Wright admitted taking so long uh, to put his support behind the whole thing uh, because he did not feel empowered to concede his personal interest. Now, let me, let me break that down and give, give it to you in English. He's saying that he didn't want to fuck with his money by rocking the boat initially. So something made him something made him come out. And it, maybe Fox is going to say he was going to get fired or something like that. But something made him come out now. Um, and uh, he, he said he's saying Wright is saying that it was building on his conscience. And he was brought to pray about it through tears. You know, I mean, it's just uh, this whole like, you know, 
I don't know. People always want to go to the Bible and cry. And my thing is this. They were racial. It was fucked up. And you're coming out now. Be fucking strong. Stop with the, with the crying and the boo-hoo and, you know, whatever. But um, he is saying, and I do applaud him for saying, that he can no longer sit in silence and collect his paycheck, which is a very nice paycheck. Um, I did not experience racial bias on my own level. He did. <laughs> but uh, they paid him well. And so... He's saying that uh, after 14 years, he stacked up enough money. So fuck y'all job. <laughs> uh, but I definitely hope that they get everything uh, that's coming to them. We're going to see how how that works. Um, the, the strength in numbers with these 11 uh, in current and former employees coming forward. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, will they win? Will they lose? Will they get this big settlement? I'm sure that if they get a settlement, it's going to be disclosed. Uh, Cause it ain't gonna be that much. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter at the Diamond K Show at Radio on Fire. New episodes of the Diamond K Morning Show drop 9 a.m. on RadioOnFire.com, but also on YouTube, Diamond K Show Live. All right, welcome back to the Diamond K Morning Show. Uh, wine and pasta events. LLC presents the return of wine and pasta this Sunday, April the 30th, from 4 to 9 p.m. at the Columbus Center, 701 East Pratt Street, downtown Baltimore. Enjoy unlimited wine from around the world, pasta dishes, and music by DJ Tons. For tickets or any other info, visit wineandpasta2017.eventbrite.com. Dot com, so that is wine and pasta. That, that the, uh, the you know, the you know, and sign whatever that's called, pasta two zero one seven dot eventbrite dot com. 